Hi everyone. For our final grade seven math coding activity, you're gonna be trying to replicate my tic-tac-toe game that I've made here. And I'm only gonna give you a few clues today. You're gonna to have to try to figure this one out yourself. Let's see how this game works. So I'm just gonna stop now and press the green flag. You'll notice that there's a monkey appears here and he explains the rules of the game. Once he's done explaining, he goes back and forth to add a little bit of excitement. And when he says go, the timer starts to count down, adding some more pressure to the game. Here's how you play. If you click on a square once, it turns to an X square and it becomes very color flashing numbers like that. If you click on it a second time, it turns to an O. And that's how you take turns. You click on it once for an X, you click on it a second time to turn it to an O. Um, and you try to win by getting a tic-tac-toe. Let me show you a little bit of the behind the scenes, the coding, to give you some clues on how to make this game. So here are some tic-tac-toe coding clues that I hope you find helpful. First of all, I coded only one button at the beginning and I coded it properly. And then I duplicated it many, many times. So you only have to really do all the work with one button and then you duplicate it a whole bunch of times. Each button has three different costumes. So the blank gray costume, one costume with an X on it, and one costume with an O on it. And then I just use next costume to switch between the different costumes. Uh, when a sprite is clicked, of course, then you might click next costume. Uh, here's the switch costume button. I also use the change color effect to get this uh, color changing effect, which is kind of cool. For the monkey, I used a few different ones, a show and a hide button. And um, I, I had him go back and forth showing and hiding in different locations a random amount of times. Sometimes he goes back and forth six times. Other times he goes back and forth 10 times between this location and this location. And then of course he uses say hello to explain how the game works. Then I created a variable for the time remaining, the timing countdown here. And of course I started at 10 and it went down each second at a time until it came down to zero. Um, when the game is over, the monkey says good try or something like that. Anyways, these clues should help you um, create my tic-tac-toe game. And if you get stuck, um, I hope you can use these clues to help you get past them. Keep trying. Thanks, everyone. I hope you enjoy this final culminating tic-tac-toe grade 7 coding activity. Good luck.